drift asleep to the sounds of falling rain with tonight's sleep story and bedtime meditation entitled The Houseboat. Find yourself walking through the glistening streets of Seattle, adorned in a yellow rain slicker that conjures a sense of nostalgia. After wandering through iconic stops along the way, you find respite in a historic houseboat nestled in a community on Lake Union. So find a place to get cozy and cuddle up as we embark on this mystical maritime adventure that will help you fall into a deep and healing sleep. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you are listening, you may think of my voice as that of a trusted friend on this journey. You may tune out my voice at any point. If sleep beckons to you before the stories end, and you may return to it again in the future, should you wish to hear the ending. My sole intention is to remind you that you are capable of self-soothing by activating the creative powers of your imagination. You are the architect of all thoughts and feelings that come to you before sleep. And in this story, you have the full freedom to let my words carry you to places that bring bliss and to make you feel good. You have earned this time by prevailing through another day of growth and experiences in this life. You deserve every second of your nightly bedtime ritual to reconnect with the deepest parts of yourself and to find solace. Feel free to wiggle and shake off any lasting impressions of your day before you settle into your bed. Sink beneath the comforts of your bedding and into the warm embrace of your mattress. Let your eyelids rest heavily over your tired eyes. As you find stillness, take in a deep breath and let the top of that breath turn into a yawn. Yawn without judgment from yourself or anyone else. You've earned this, Sean. And then you can audibly sigh and let it all just go. Inhale one more time, filling your body to the brink with fresh oxygen. You feel so light and expansive that you could float across the night sky and exhale. And when you let the air out, you rest heavily into the comforts of your bed. You feel like a heavy stone dropped into a calm sea as it surrenders to gravity and gracefully plunges deeper and deeper down towards the sea floor. You embrace the safety you find in the sanctuary of your room and in the sanctuary of your mind. The refuge they offer evokes your imaginative spirit. As a creator, you paint the canvas of the night with brush strokes of bliss and tranquility starting now. Imagine your feet are adorned in rubber rain boots that gently splash down on lustrous puddles that have formed on black asphalt. You are wearing a banana yellow rain slicker 
and your hand grasps the smooth wooden handle of an oversized black umbrella. You hear the rain gently patter upon the fabric of the umbrella that perfectly hovers over you. A sense of relief and freedom comes from being properly outfitted for the rainstorm. The weather forecast calls for the rain to get steadier and last into the early morning hours, ending just before dawn. Your attire and accessories keep you dry and warm against the damp air so that you may fully enjoy this late night walk. You inhale the air that carries a marriage of briny and metallic fragrances brought on by salt water and fresh rain. A soft mist cloaks the city of Seattle like white gauze and you feel its tiny droplets of water on your face and lips. Something about the combination of the temperature and mist makes the air feel especially clean and soothing as you walk down the slick, shiny pavement. The rubber soles of your rain boots make walking more pleasant and each step comes with a little bounce that feels good on your joints. The patter of the rain has a hypnotic rhythm that calms you. The city is sleepy and most shops are closed when you walk by the iconic Pike Place Market. For over a century, the market has thrived as fishmongers and artisans and bakers and farmers have brought their goods to be sold. You can feel this history in the quietude of the night as if the whispers of vendors and buyers still carry on the misty air. The crimson neon lights read Public Market Center and the illuminated clock below it is about to strike midnight. The wet, reflective cobblestone street is abundant with puddles that are perfect mirrors for the neon lights. The street glows in red orbs created on the water-soaked earth and these orbs seem to dance with each ripple created by the fat drops of rain that steadily splat. You reach your hand outside the edge of your umbrella and enjoy the sensation as a large drop, then two and then three, fall onto your warm and dry palm. They're cool to the touch as you watch the drops flatten and then stream through your fingers as you open your hand like a star. You remember a time in your life when you carelessly splashed in puddles and did things to simply connect with the environment around you. You made choices to do things for the sake of fun. And this playful spirit returns to you as you walk beyond the market on quiet streets. The sound of your boots sloshing through puddles carries through the silence. Bustling during the day with locals and tourists and commuters the late night rainstorm has kept people hunkered down at home and so the neighborhood is quiet. The city lights glimmer around you. You hear the soft 
splashing of puddles, from the occasional car passing you by on Westlake Avenue. The more you walk, the more ethereal the journey becomes. Through the rain, the crosswalks appear bleary, and the greens and reds of the stoplights cast the wet street in illuminated swatches of color that reflect back on the glistening ebony asphalt. The mist thickens, and its translucent presence makes you feel as if you are floating through a dream. The rain continues to patter down on the pavement and onto your umbrella. And you continue to enjoy the buoyancy that comes from each step in your rubber rain boots. Halfway to your houseboat, your attention turns to the iconic Space Needle that stands out against the Seattle skyline. On this night it appears gilded, illuminated by gold lights that travel from the spire and cascade around the bulbous observation deck and slender base. The falling rain causes the lights to appear to twinkle in the darkness of night. You pause to reflect on the skyline, feeling as if you are the only observer of this beautiful scene, brought together by the imaginations of humankind and the weather patterns of Mother Nature. The scene is both harmonious and soothing. You take in a deep breath of the maritime air and exhale, seeing your breath now condense as the night has become cooler. It is a night of mystical splendor. You are feeling quite tired and so you resume your journey home. Your thoughts seem to float away and you experience a silence and spaciousness in your mind. You enjoy the meditative state that comes from a long walk. Your mind is like a sponge, open to ideas and answers that simply appear. Your imaginative mind allows for dreamy thoughts and soothing sensations with this deep resonating voice within you that declares, it is all going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. This night walk has brought your body and mind in sync in a soothing ritual. Walking has always been a sacred part of the human experience. And George Macaulay Trevelyan expressed, after a day's walk, everything has twice its usual value. You feel gratitude for your legs and for your breath, for your balance and for your fortitude, for the meditative state that only soothes you more with each step towards home. You arrive at the base of Lake Union and the greenery of the waterfront park is slick and sparkling in the rain. The lights of communities along the lake illuminate the otherwise dark body of water. 
like the cobblestones outside the public market. The lake is awash with lights of surrounding homes that cut through the mist in golden and pale yellow and silvery white beams. The light reflects off the water and sparkles like precious metals. You walk to the northwest around the lake. The rain comes down harder and the gentle patter of large drops transforms into a steady stream of heavily falling rain. You wade through the deeper puddles and appreciate the boots that keep your feet dry and warm. Up ahead you see the lakeside community of houseboats where your own home awaits you. Through the gray mist and darkness of night, you are led by the opal spotlights that beam from houseboats and from the golden glow of antique lanterns that line the dock. You walk along the shiny, wet, wooden planks of the dock towards your houseboat and hear soft creaks. You pass by other houseboats where neighbors have settled in for the night. Many have been drawn in by the allure of early sleep brought on by the soporific rain. The houses are lined up in an array of primary colors with bold hues of red and blue and green and yellow that seem inspired by a rainbow. Even in the darkness, through the thick mist and steady rain, the saturated colors stand out against the darkness, like a box of melting oil pastels. You see your floating home and feel a wave of appreciation wash over you. The two-story houseboat is remarkably spacious given the uniqueness of the dwelling. It is painted in your favorite color and this detail has deep meaning to you because it was a decision you had the freedom to make. Because this home is rightfully yours to decorate and modify and design any way that you want. And you feel pride in having this power. You walk on to the deck of the houseboat and listen as the rain pelts on the fabric of your outdoor chairs. Often your days begin and your nights end, enjoying your favorite drink and looking out onto the lake. You have savored Lake Union through all seasons, during full moons and sunny days, during occasional and rare snow squalls, and even now during a night of continuous rain. the gentle slaps of the lake water against the deck of your home is a soothing and welcome sound that comes with familiarity. You walk to the rustic wooden front door and unlock it, opening it into the main living area. You take in a deep breath and inhale the intoxicating fragrance that smells of your home. If this aroma were to be bottled up and brought to you anywhere in the world, 
you would instantly be transported to cozy feelings of home and safety. You would glide on the most intimate and beloved memories that our scent memory is capable of inspiring. This fragrance is suggestive of protection and love. You close the door behind you and remove your wet boots and rain slicker. You are greeted by your furry companion who runs to the door. You hang your coat on a hook and then kneel down to pet your loyal friend. You feel the wonderful welcome that only an animal can give. An unconditional love that comes without expectations or judgment. And as soon as you enter these doors and connect with this dearly beloved pet, you know you are free to let go and be every expression of yourself. You are free to relax and unwind and ride every feeling that comes in the privacy of your home. There is a dimmer switch on the wall that you gently glide up to light the living room to your own preferences. The main living area has high ceilings that make use of both stories and windows that run from ceiling to floor. While the houseboat is historic, it comes with modern features, and you may darken the windows with a mere flick of a switch and escape from the world outside. But on nights like this, You enjoy watching as the rain cascades down the glass in iridescent silver streams. The visual conjures images of what it would be like to stand behind a waterfall, safely tucked in a dry, dark cavern. There is a gas fireplace that sits in the center of the room before the windows. And you turn it on and watch the orange marmalade flames come to light. They flicker and dance behind the glass doors and illuminate the room in warm golden tones. You rise and your pet follows you faithfully, close to your heels as you step on the old wood floors. The wooden planks are thick and a honeyed hue with rustic knots, and these same wooden panels are found on the walls of the kitchen and living area. They remind you of the beautiful forests and cabins of the Pacific Northwest. And your mind drifts to the many decades ago when these planks were once new and your houseboat was new as well. But now it carries with it comfortable and well-worn history. You enter the kitchen and turn on the gas range beneath the ceramic tea kettle that is full of water. You grab a tea bag of a sleep inducing tea and place it in the mug. You grab your pet's food and water dishes from the floor and refresh them while the water in the kettle begins to simmer. You place the dishes back on the floor and feel good inside when you watch your furry friend begin to eat. 
You deeply enjoy caring for your animal, and it fills you with a warm, soothing joy. The water comes to a full boil, and you turn off the burner and pour the steaming water over the tea bag. As it steeps, you add honey to the cup and watch it flow in a thick amber stream. The aroma rises in a cloud of steam that wafts towards your nose. It smells sweet and floral. You cup your hands around the oversized mug and feel the heat permeate the heavy ceramic. You walk to the living room and settle into a linen sofa. Your body sinks into the cushions and throw pillows, and you wrap yourself in a hand-knitted chenille blanket that you once purchased from an artisan seller at Pike's Market many years ago. Like your houseboat, the blanket has a uniqueness to it. It carries a history with it, and yet it is perfectly suited to meet your needs right now. You nuzzle your face against the soft piles of chenille and raise your mug to your lips. You slowly sip on the warm elixir with notes of lavender and honey and mint. It cascades down your throat in a stream as gentle as the rain streaking down the windows on the houseboat. You look around the room and focus on photos that are framed and placed on a custom-built shelf that runs the length of the wall. Memories of summer and warmer days are sparked by some of the images of you basking in the sun. And while you look forward to the rising sun and clear skies in the morning, for now the rain best suits your mood to retreat and relax in the most guilt-free moments. When it rains like this, it feels as though nature gives you the excuse to take it easy and hunker down. The rain is a timeless reminder to take shelter and take care of your most basic needs. And while doing this, you may take care of your mind and your spirit your body. You finish the tea and the sleepy effects begin to take hold. Your eyelids become heavy and your body is relaxed as your mouth opens in a big yawn. You rise and once again your pet is right behind you, racing on the heels of your feet. You turn off the fireplace and then walk towards a spiral staircase that rises to the second floor bedroom. You ascend the curving stairs, counting each one as you rise further. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You reach the second floor and open double doors into the bedroom. You walk through the shadows and turn on a lamp by the bed. The room is rustic yet modern, comfortable and clean. 
The wood paneled walls are painted a linen white, and a queen sized bed sits in the middle of the room. The curtains are drawn, yet you still hear the rain pelting on the windows and on the skylight that is over your bed. You watch the rain trickle down the glass pane of the skylight, forming many streams that then flow out onto the roof. You change out of your clothes into your favorite pajamas that are well worn and soft from frequent washes. The cotton fabric breathes well and loosely drapes over your body. The accent color in this bedroom is one that soothes you and was chosen for that reason. The pop of color is found in the bedspread and lampshades, in the area rug, and in knickknacks that you have scattered throughout the room. You peel back the heavy covers, and your pet cannot wait to jump onto the bed and claim the spot next to you. You crawl beneath the crisp cotton sheets and bedspread and reach to turn off the lamp. In the darkness of the bedroom, the sounds of the falling rain and the gentle creaks of the houseboat lull you into deeper relaxation. Your pet snuggles against you, pressing into your body with trust and warmth. Your furry companion sighs audibly, and then you sigh as well. Your body relaxes further, and you feel your muscles become soft like melted wax. It's so easy to surrender to the sensation of heaviness and you feel the long-lasting effects of your night walk through rainy Seattle. Your lungs feel light and you breathe easily, and your body relishes the warm, dry comforts of your houseboat. Your legs feel tired, and yet bring you a feeling of contentment. Your mind drifts toward sleep, floating away from my voice, floating away from your waking life towards the imaginative landscape of your dreaming life, flowing down toward sleep like the rain that flows down your houseboat and merges with the water of the lake. You feel the same gentle fluidity. Some nights, like tonight, you imagine your houseboat drifting out to sea and traveling over the deepest, bluest parts of the ocean. You imagine climbing to the roof deck and bathing in the starlight that shines from the velvety, seemingly endless ebony sky. How freeing it would be to be untethered to the land and able to explore the vast world from the comforts of your home. You imagine rocking to and fro as the houseboat in motion lulls you to sleep out at sea. And with these nautical thoughts, you may float towards your dreaming life as I count you down towards a night of healing sleep. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Finding peace, finding respite, finding grace, finding ease, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night.